Well, back to one of our top stories now, the mass shooting after a high school graduation ceremony in Virginia. It happened in Richmond yesterday during what should have been a moment of celebration. The two people killed include an 18 year old who had graduated just minutes earlier and five others were wounded. And a witness said that some of the victims were still in their gowns. Nicole Skanga is in Richmond with more on this. Good morning, Nicole. Good morning, Anne-Marie. Police have arrested a 19-year-old suspect who they say will be charged with two counts of second-degree murder. Now, the shooting happened just moments after a graduation ceremony took place in the Altria Theater behind me and as dozens were filing into this park where the shooter opened fire. A possible active shooter. Several people shot, a couple of maydays. Chaos erupted as shots were fired in Monroe Park Tuesday afternoon. We have multiple reports of shootings in Monroe Park. The area was filled with families celebrating Huguenot High School graduates. With all graduates of the class of 2023, please stand together. Who left from the Altria Theater directly across the street just moments earlier. This is their graduation day. The question that comes in my mind right now is, is nothing sacred any longer? It is probably the worst thing that I've seen in my life. Keisha Allen was looking for her goddaughter who had just graduated when the shooting started. It was just total chaos. There were books for the diplomas all over the ground. There were caps all over the ground. There were shoes and glasses and pocketbooks. Allen said she saw students among the people injured. There were two of them on the ground in their gown still shot. The police chief did not release a motive, but said he believes the suspect knew at least one of the victims. It's disgusting and cowardly behavior. When you have a crowd like this, innocent people are going to be caught up in the mayhem, and, and that's what happened today. Now, Alan told us that her goddaughter and her family are all OK. Among those five injured, the ages ranged from 14 to 58 years old. There was also a nine year old who was hit by a car in the chaos, but she is OK. Now, the police chief said that the suspect had four firearms, all of them handguns. Anne Marie. Um, do we know at all anything about this suspect? You know, a 19 year old, um, I thought to myself, maybe this person went to the school. Is there any additional information about the suspect? Yeah, we're still learning information about the suspect, Amory, and we do expect police to brief reporters later today. We know uh, this was a 19 year old who knew at least one of the victims uh, now deceased. Uh, police also saying that this was not, uh, you know, gang related. Um, hmm. the, there were two uh, victims who died on the scene, an 18 year old who we know participated in the graduation ceremony. Um, you heard there one of the witnesses saying they saw uh, victims on the ground in their bright green graduation robes. Hmm. Um, a 36 year old attendee also uh, died on the scene among the injured. We know uh, that there is at least one uh, individual who has life threatening injuries, a 31 year old. In addition, a 14 year old boy and three men ages 32, 55 and 58 all sustain injuries, but police say they will be OK. Uh, you know, the scene here as awful as you would expect it to be in witnesses recounting, uh, you know, families, uh, mothers holding babies, uh, graduate. Uh, you know, those who just attended their graduation in their bright green gowns and their uh, yellow stoles running across this park, hundreds filling the park that I'm standing in. Yeah, it, this should have been, you know, a moment for great memories and now it, it, just tragic. Nicole, thank you.